Hey guys, The Ultimate Filmer here, and just after that intro you just saw, um, yeah, we're doing the flying effect, and it's, um, a little more complicated than uh, the other two tutorials that I have done. So now we're just gonna hop right into, uh, PowerDirector, right after I, um, just, um, uh, yo, yeah, me and Brandon were doing this, um, this kind of like action short thing on Sunday, so just be ready for that if you are watching this video so that you can come back to my channel and just check it out. It might be posted on Sunday or Monday, but we're doing it on Sunday. Okay, let's hop into a uh, power director. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're in Power Director 14, we are going to bring the uh, clip down that we need and just into the timeline and, okay, stretch that there. And, okay, so I'm just going to play this back. You can't hear the volume, but... <laughs> the light in my scene was changing a lot. Okay, so now you're gonna. Okay, so what you want in your scene, or your clip, or whatever it is, uh, you're gonna want your actor to be there, obviously, um, from head to toe, and then they can. They just uh, right when they're standing there, um, they jump. Okay. Um, as high as they can, but then when they land, I land in in a cool position like that. I look like I'm doing karate, which I do do karate. Uh, anyway, um, I'm just gonna see the frames. Okay, so I'm gonna take one that's like right there, okay, when I start falling down. Now, um, and you're also in your shot, you're gonna need, um, somewhere where like, there's nobody in the uh, shot. And you'll see why we need that after, okay? Um, I just did that all in the same video clip here, so I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just felt like it. Anyway, um, moving on. <laughs> okay, so you're going to want to, um, uh, okay, so first of all, I'm going to cut this. Because I'm, okay, so this effect is me jumping down from this guy, as you saw earlier like flying down basically um or like a hulk jump whatever whatever it is anyway uh you could do the opposite you all you need to do is reverse the effect i'll just show you that okay i'm sorry guys i made a terrible mistake first of all you need to um uh, take a snapshot right there on your frame that you want it i completely forgot this i don't know why um Anyway, um, I'm just gonna call it, oops, I'm just gonna call it, uh, flight. Snap. Shot. Okay. So, now it's gonna save that. Okay, guys, so once you're in Photo Director, you're gonna want to go onto File, Import, Photos, and then you can do it from there, because I already did mine. Anyway, so, <laughs> then you can go on to Extract or Compose, and then go... Uh, background removal, and you are editing contains transfer. Okay, then it does not include transparent parts, but whatever. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go. I'm not turning on intelligent because it's not very intelligent, but anyway. So I'm just gonna start this, and I will be back when I am oops my foot okay I'll be back when I'm done okay so guys I'm back in um, power director and uh, I had some complications with the uh, uh, the photo and stuff but um I'm back and uh, it's been blue screen so if I can just find it it's called flight yeah that's yeah that's what it looks like I'm sorry <laughs> I hope you don't have the same complications but I can't yeah, anyway. Okay, so, now we're gonna go on... Okay, yeah. Uh, 
How long do I want it? Okay. So this is how long you want him to, like, flow down. I'm going to say it's going to have to be, like, pretty fast. So you're going to want it like that. There. Okay, now I'm obviously going to uh, put some chroma key on here. And just leave it like... Look at there. Nope. Okay, there we go. Now I can just go, uh, say actually first I'm gonna go take a mask. And it's going to be like that because I do not want the the black on the side. Okay, so obviously that does not look good. I'm gonna go and t I'm gonna modify this again. And okay, so first we're gonna do the first keyframe. Bring it to the front here, position, and. So just to the end, we drag this to the end here, position, bring him to wherever your actor was. I think I was around there. Let's just hope. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that was around the right spot. Because I don't think it was. <laughs> so I'm just going through the frames here. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, um yeah, let's just here. You you move over like that. Then yeah, let's see. No, I wanted Okay, he's still Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to position him properly. Okay, now I'm just going to shrink him. And that should be, yeah, that's good enough, anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're going to take the part where there is no actor which is right there okay or right there <laughs> and I don't need it to be that long but who cares okay so now, uh, actually, okay, so you're going to bring here, just more space. I'm going to bring this, actually, like, here, wait. I got myself all confused. Bring that up there. The flight thing goes down there. You are going to align that so that it goes, like, fits with the blue green screen to clip. Now, uh, let's see how that is. Okay, now that looks really weird. Okay, I am going to make this a lot faster. Okay, I'm going to bring this keyframe like there. And I'm going to mess around more with the, the edges. Okay, there we go. Um, now if I just save that. Okay, the keyframe ends right around. Oops, okay. And that is when they s or he stops or I I stop. <laughs> uh, 
trim and move clips. Now it's gonna look like this. Uh, there's a little bit of lag there, but you saw in the final result that there wasn't. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the the uh, green screen or blue screen to clip again, and you're gonna want to go on to okay, don't play. Uh, you're gonna want to go stop playing. Once it stops playing, you're gonna want to go on to motion if it can load after that and no it can't okay yes it can um... yeah okay so you're just gonna click motion blur uh... i'm just gonna do all that like yep yeah. perfect save okay so yeah so now when your superman guy moves uh... he is going to have some motion blur And there we go. So that is the tutorial on the flying effect. You can just watch that again. And I'll see you all later. Bye.